Mukti or liberation is our nature. It is another name for us. Our wanting Mukti is a very funny thing. It is like a man who is in the shade, voluntarily leaving the shade, going into the sun, feeling the severity of the heat, making great efforts to get back into the shade, and then rejoicing. At last I have reached the shade. How sweet is the shade. We are doing exactly the same. We are not different from the reality. We imagine we are different. That is, we create bhedabhav, the feeling of difference. And then undergo great sadhanas to get rid of bhedabhav and realize the oneness. It is false to speak of realization. What is there to realize? The real is as it is. Ever. How to realize it? All that is required is this. We have realized the unreal, that is, regarded as real what is unreal. We have to give up this attitude. That is all that is required for us to attain jnana. We are not creating anything anew or achieving something which we did not have before. The illustration given in the books is this. We dig a well and create a huge pit. The akasha or space in the pit or well has not been created by us. We have just removed the earth which was filling the akasha there. The space or akasha was there then and is also there now. Similarly, we have to throw out all the age-long innate tendencies which are inside us. When all of them have been given up, the self will shine alone. Effortless and choiceless awareness is our real state. If we can attain it, or be in it, it is all right. But one cannot reach it without effort, the effort of deliberate meditation. All the age-long vasanas or latent tendencies carry the mind outwards and turn it to external objects. All such thoughts have to be given up and the mind turned inward. For most people, effort is necessary. Of course, everybody, every book says, be quiet or still. But it is not easy. That is why all this effort is necessary. Even if you find one who has effortlessly achieved the mana or silence or supreme state indicated by scriptures, you may take it that the effort necessary has already been completed in a previous life. Such effortless and choiceless awareness is reached only after deliberate meditation. The books no doubt speak of Shavan or hearing, Manana which is reflection, Nididhyasana which is one-pointed concentration, Samadhi and Sakshatkaram, which is realization. We are always the Sakshat or real. And what is there for one to attain after that? 